Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded update slash hotfix release review that is coming out very soon within the next day or two release 1.1.2 okay so as you guys know in the last 1.1 update they added a couple things in to the game that changed some stuff they have adjusted some of the code and they broke a few things what this one is going to do it is going to fix some of those things but it's also going to add a couple new features so to start off what it's adding in and what it's fixing is the fact that you see my mushroom planters here how they don't work anymore that's going to be fixed okay that is one of their biggest fixes that they're doing is the fact that our mushroom planters will now start producing mushrooms again and our dew collectors will also start producing dew again so we'll have the liquid to drink that's why you know i have two of these up because i was hoping maybe they were just bugged and they would work if i just let them up for a few days they don't but it's getting fixed another cool thing that's getting fixed guys is egg corn respawn rates right now if you guys break all your egg corns in your game without one still being up they're all gone forever you don't get any more egg corns which is a problem because egg corns are a good place for food you need their shells in order to make armor and you need the lids of them them, the egg corn tops in order to make sap collectors sap collectors are also being fixed guys yes finally sap collectors are going to be fixed another thing i wanted to go over with you guys is that the larva okay the larva have spawned in numbers throughout some people's games even when you guys had the spike traps up and they said that they were going to get rid of that well that's actually now actually being fixed they are actually going to fix it excuse me mr nat i am talking to the people will you please leave me alone come at me anyway so they're going to fix all of the larva if they spawned in your map in multitude and they're just debugging your game or bugging it out or crashing your game because there's so many of them they are now Fixing that guys okay so with this next update that's gonna come out in the next day or two you're not gonna have to worry about that anymore which is awesome great news to hear for some of you guys that made the mistake like I did in one of my previous maps of putting down some spike traps and then next thing you know you're overwhelmed with larva and it's crashing your game so it's good to know I'm gonna be able to go back to that game save and explore a little bit more with that one because I had some cool gear already set up on that one as well another thing they're fixing guys is right here with these chests they are fixing the availability for you to have only one person go into your chest at a time they're making it so you guys can have multiple people going in there again because what ended up happening is it ended up bugging out and locking everybody out of the chest and you couldn't get back in there so they finally fixed that that's going back into the updates now and you guys are going to be able to all access the chest at the same time and guys another question i get all the time is did they fix the armor dummies they state yes they're going to fix the armor dummies so that is another fix that is coming. I am now going to jump over to the actual page where they are showing the hot fixes that are coming. But before I do that, I want to add a little bit extra for you guys here. Now, what I will tell you is the secret to a hot fix is when they do that, not only are they are hot fixing some things, but they're also adding a little bit more to the dev world. And as you guys know, I am constantly in the dev world. So guys, make sure that you're subscribing. That way you guys can see and like the video so you guys can see what is going to be coming out in the dev world and the things that are going to be added on the august 27th update guys so just make sure you guys are here for that but let's hop over now over to the actual site from ubisoft and not ubisoft i'm sorry obsidian i've been playing too much anno i'm sorry okay let's hop over to obsidian and see what their actual update notes say okay guys so here we are patch 1 point, or 0 0.12 okay we'll release soon this is today august 12th that they released this i'm going to be putting out this video in just a few minutes for you guys but it says patch 0 point, uh, 1.2 will be released in a day or two and the included are the changes and fixes are have follow okay major fixes better handling and dismissing profile selection at the main screen on xbox one and windows 10 store versions which will help save games from going um missing or from players in the xbox console and windows store just then i'll just disappearing uh they're fixing the issue where if you had the kill mosquito quest prior to the patch of 1.1 uh, 1 release where it won't uh wasn't removed properly and would crash if you killed a creature while that quest was active that's being fixed okay fix the crash when approaching a base with traps on it that has an insect being damaged where it would just crash it or that there would all of a sudden be a bunch of insects that spawn in that's being fixed and they're also resolving the issue that would cause random crashes with juice drop combining with you're approaching people so you guys have noticed sometimes you drop in all of a sudden there'll be like 30 uh drops in front of you and then your game just yeah that's going away now too in the game they've cleared out excessive larva from games like i said that had large numbers of the larva due to the um, infinite larva respawn issue from patch 1.1 which is cool that they got that they've also fixed the drop all function that's not properly spinning items so if you drop all of your inventory now instead of just only getting one item you're going to get all your stuff back okay 
items and equipment and resources, guys. These are the cool stuff. So resolve the issue with the mushroom guards, dew collectors, acorns, and other resources not responding after their initial spawns. Like I said, they're fixing this. That way, finally, you guys will be able to have all your stuff back, be able to have a self-sufficient base that's protected, and you guys can build up really cool bases now with not having to worry about whether or not you're going to run out of food and water. Okay, two, reverting the change for now of locked containers of only one player at a time since that's um, causing containers to stay permanently locked on occasion. So yeah, they're getting rid of that. You guys are all be able to access chests at the same time like we talked about. And then they're fixed the issue with the slime mold sources not turning back sconces, not turning back on after you log into the game. So if you guys had a slime mold sconce, because I mean how they're cool, they have a really cool green light. It's great for like if you're building like a bottom floor or something that um, is like if you guys are building a base and you have like a ladder that goes up or a, a staircase that goes up and then you go down another staircase to get into like a bottom area that's completely surrounded by bricks or stuff. It has a really cool green light for that underground feel like if you're in the ant caves, right? But there was a bug where they wouldn't turn back on after the fixes, right? So now they're turning it back on so that way it's going to work and you guys are going to still be able to have your slime mold sconces working. And then in the UI, this is a small one. They removed the customized marker from the loot backpack. It was causing crash of use. It's not supposed to be available on that screen. You're supposed to be able to do the custom marker um, using the actual custom marker. So although they go on to thank everybody for the awesome game that they've been putting out and all the support that they've been getting. And if you guys have any other questions or if you guys have other concerns, other crashes, anything like that that you guys want to talk about or that you guys need help with, I do want to tell you guys, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will make sure that when I'm sending my weekly to them, because I send a weekly um, large update file over to them stating these are all the bugs that I found so far, um, that when they get that, uh, that if you guys have a concern that it's in there okay so if you guys need anything like that please feel free to leave me a comment down below or you guys can make sure you guys subscribe and or go check out another couple of my videos for some other things but guys make sure you guys are around because like i said when they release these hot fixes they also add a couple things slide it on in there preparing for the big release that's going to be coming on august 27th so i'm very interested to see it could be the wasp nest it could be wasps themselves maybe the dragonfly slayer is going to get its skin we don't know and it could be that the mosquito are now working. I noticed that mosquito spawns have recently stopped working with 1.1, so maybe in 1.1.2. Um, that it's finally going to work again, guys. We're not sure, but you guys are only going to find out if you guys are subscribed to the channel and if you guys turn on that bell uh, notification to all. That way you guys are always available to get all of my videos. So let's talk about the fixes one more time really quick. Just a quick once over them. They're going to... Uh, they're going to take in major issues. They're going to be, um, handle dismissing profile selection in the main menu. Um, they're going to fix an issue where the kill mosquito quest was causing crashing if you killed anything else when you had it. They're going to fix a crash when approaching base, bases with traps that have an insect being damaged by it so you won't crash then anymore. Um, they're going to resolve the issue of random crashes due to juice drops combining when approaching them. Um, inside the game, they're going to clear excessive larva from games. That way you don't have crashing from excessive larva. And they've also fixed the drop all function. Items, equipments, and resources. The big one for this one, the really happy one about it, they resolve the issue with mushroom gardens, dew collectors, acorns, and all other resources that have spawning issues that just don't work. They're reverting the change for now on lock containers so that only one player can get into it at a time. They're going to make it so everybody can get back in there. And also, they're going to fix an issue that has to do with slime mold sconces. That way, you guys have that cool light still in your bases and it doesn't turn off as soon as you guys lock out. And as for UI, they're moving the custom marker from the loot backpack UI uh, that was causing crashes if it was not used. It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a buildable item, so that's good. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, please hit the like button for me. And as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.